was the night before Christmas, and an Audi was heard. Which was ironic, because that's where the word Audi comes from, the Latin to hear. August Horsch had to change it when he went bust. Oh dear. Out in the driveway was an Audi-sized place, but Santa, the old elf, deigned to fill in that space. The boys watching football looked up from their beers. Their car-loving hearts thrilled. They cupped hands to ears. And sure than reindeer, on a snow-covered pitch, came the roar of a V-10. Son of a bitch! It revved past 4,000. Tickety-boo, it revved past 6,000, all bright and true. At seven grand on the clock, the shingles started to tremble, and at 8,700, the fanboys resembled big, dumb five-year-olds, faces pressed to the window, as the Audi R8 V10 drove by. Words can't express, nor verse unfold all the testosterone nonsense that then was told of hot rods once loved and suspensions strung tightly, and quarter-mile times altogether unlikely. They stood shoulder to shoulder, looking out, breath baited, for the sound of a V10, naturally aspirated engine, was Christmas indeed. Glad tidings to all, at least those who watch Le Mans wall to wall. Ten fiery tin drums beating out syncopation with double clutch upshifts of breathless duration and 610 horses with titanium hearts driving four mighty tires on wheels like gun carts. Monster displacement and free breathing spinners are not exactly fuel saving winners. The sounds of these engines are perishable things. With EVification, the next big, big thing. The 25 R8, or whatever they call it, will roll by unheralded by any such chorus. And with angelic hosts proclaim the end of the internal combustion engine. But for now, as of Christmas 16, we still get to hear these awesome machines. And when grandkids are wakeful, alert for the bells, you'll dream of mid-engine sports cars from hell. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Now, get the hell out of my neighborhood. I've got kids and we're trying to sleep.